it was a great, a great decision for uh, for me and my family to look forward to with, with this small knit community that we have in the maritime industry. It's like a lifetime experience that you get to, uh, you get to have with those folks. They are teachers and guidance counselors, principals and professors from high schools and colleges across the country, all hoping to bring something home for their students. There are different opportunities for students other than a college degree, a four-year college plan, and I just wanted to find out what else that our students could have the opportunity to do in, as a career choice. I have a lot of uh, male students um, in my classes, and many of them, they are not on that college track, like straight out of high school. They really want to get in and put their hands into it but they really don't know where to go. They are unaware of the, the options out there. They're unaware of how to get from here to there or that it's a meaningful job with good benefits. They learn those exist in the maritime and in the transportation logistics fields too. This is what you tell your students. There's life across the supply chain. Because without <laughs> us, the world ends. It does. Think about it. We control everything. Through panel discussions, presentations, and tours, the annual six-day SMART Maritime and Transportation Institutes, held each summer in SMART's key partner regions in Virginia, Maryland, and Texas, introduce attendees to career pathways in ship construction and repair, transportation logistics, and port operations. The SMART Institute is actually an experiential week. Barbara Murray is the principal investigator and director for the Southeast Maritime and Transportation Center. She says the SMART Institutes provide real-world exposure to maritime and transportation jobs. You're going on ships, in ships, on the bows of ships. We're actually talking to people that work on the ships, work on the ports. Jamie Meyer trains teachers how to integrate this information into lesson plans. There's so many opportunities in the industry that students are totally unaware of. So when I come to these SMART Institutes, I begin to learn how to turn everything that's going on in the industry into a usable product in the classroom for the teachers. I've been teaching uh, mechanical engineering, mechanical engineering and, and uh, architecture for, for the last 15 years. And I've been trying to impress them into going into apprenticeship programs. And a lot of the kids have done that but not to my satisfaction. There's so much pressure on them right now to do so many things. We can help them achieve their goals by integrating SMART into what they're doing. The great thing I'm learning about the maritime field is not every job has to come with a four-year college degree. And as a dean, I can tell you, I have students who are gonna be super successful and probably get on masters and doctorates, and I have students who are gonna be super successful going through a trade school. Blades forward in the Rollins. This is the training they're getting. At SMART Institutes, high school educators learn from community college administrators about valuable certification programs, while college educators come to network. There's other uh, academies and institutes that are being represented in the SMART Institute, and they share what is working for them and what is not working for them, so we can share that knowledge as well. Participants in SMART Institutes rave about what they see and learn. Every single time, every single person, it's always, I didn't know. I cannot believe this. If I'd only known this sooner. Thank you for actually showing me what they really do. To learn more about future SMART Institutes, visit MaritimeTechnology.org.